Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Video Game Drive-By. We may have lied. Um, this is not indeed a third episode of Party Golf. Yeah, I kind of almost died. Yeah. My that, that coughing fit turned into the worst asthma attack I've ever had. I had to get home. I, I, I'm alive! And it was, despite it, talking about it making me want to cough, I promise I'm healthy now. It was a fun game, but you were scaring me. Yeah, I spent my four-day weekend in fresh air, so I'm good. All right, now I do want to... I do want to check one thing. Is the, uh, is there not... Camera settings. Oh, it's camera settings. Is it vertical? Oh, invert. There we go. Perfect. Ha ha. Also, they have the, the, the first person camera as well for your vertical movement. That's different? All right, whatever. Fine. I just some, want... some people actually prefer one in third person and the other in first person. Really? Yeah, I actually was that way for a while. Game difficulty. Let's um... <laughs> hide signs containing spoilers. <laughs> Wait, what? You can leave signs like in Splatoon, and oh. they can be tagged for spoilers, and then they'll be hidden. Brian, can you rewind for a second? Yeah. Can you say that sentence one more time? S signs like Splatoon, like how people do like the billboards and stuff. Like, it matches. And in this game, people can make them and they can be flagged for spoilers. And when that happens, they get hidden if you have it set to hide the ones that are flagged as spoiler. Oh, you mean the the graffiti, like the posts yeah. that people... We said the... Because the example you gave me before was Dark Souls. Oh, yeah, And I knew too. exactly what you meant, but when you said Splatoon, I'm still thinking single player, and I was like, there is literally no function in Splatoon that lets you... That lets you billboard Wait, don't, the, the billboards don't show up mode. in single player? No. <laughs> Not to my knowledge, anyway. No. Hide signs. Should we hide signs? If they contain spoilers, yeah. Okay, let's let's. Just in case people here don't want to be spoiled, I don't care. And a little bit of a little That's bit of warning. Fine. I've I've messed with this for a couple of hours just to uh -huh. because I knew going in that I had this weird frustration with the game. Sign into PlayStation. Oh. Ne yeah. Brian. Brian, are you kidding me with this? I didn't know anything about network features being required to play the game. <sighs> All right, back in a few. All right, and we're back. So not only did it want us to log in and then start adjusting more settings and still tell us we're offline because it can't log in, <laughs> it wanted your birthday. Yep. And apparently, what, Doom abilities? Well, I don't know what that I, is. I, and then you, you were mentioning you don't know what most of these things are? Yeah, it's like I get Cancer and Pisces, but I have no idea what Cetus, Delphinus, and Gygus are in terms of, like, you know, constellations. But, um... I will say that the well, game cancer... is going to throw a lot of terminology at you that won't make sense up front, but oh, as they crap. use it, you'll get that context clues about stuff. Okay. The game doesn't expect you to understand everything going in. Good, I hope not. Yeah. Alright, now, I did hear that this game is a 45-hour endeavor. I wouldn't be surprised. I mean... I don't believe we're going to be doing the entire game. Oh, no. But I would at least like a sample of this. And there's a company out there that's doing an action figure of the Kojima Productions logo character, and I kind of want it. Oh, is this just the logo character? Oh! Yeah. That's not even the game. Nope, that's just a character in the game. If the rope along with the stick are two of mankind's oldest tools. The stick to keep the bad away, the rope used to bring the good toward us. They were our first friends of our own invention. Wherever there were people, there were the rope and the stick. Cool. Hmm. Yeah. All right. Oh. I mean, unless it's a Michael Bay movie, in which case there are many explosions. Oh yeah, he's directing the movie of this. Is he? No. No. Oh. <laughs> Dude, you said it with such a straight face. I was fully convinced. <laughs> so, person talking now. Yeah. Is this Reese's character? I can't remember. Like, I can't tell by the voice. Good. All right. Oh boy, I can't wait to walk across all that. I mean, it, wait, are those rocks floating in the background? Yeah. Your drinking game for this game is the word Kojima. Brian? We're two shots in. We're two shots well, four in. four shots in if you count the title screen and the Kojima Productions logo. Let, let's not even count the, <laughs> the Productions logo or anything. Let's, let's Upside just down count rainbow, that's pretty cool. This. Is that just... Kojima being fancy, or is that part of the the planet thing? That's part of all of this. That okay. I feel like that answered nothing. Yeah. 
Or is that on uh, par with the Kojima uh, game? Uh, Hideo Kojima answer. <laughs> oh boy. I'm, I'm getting the full experience already. So now I've got a question, because I genuinely don't know. Yeah. So the only Kojima game I've played a, I've played that I know of is Metal Gear Solid 2. Okay. Which, don't get me wrong, I did enjoy. Yeah. It was difficult to follow the story about 90% of the time. Nobody can follow has, the story of that game. <laughs> has Kojima made, directed anything that's not Metal Gear Solid? Yes, he did Snatcher on the PlayStation and Sega Saturn. Okay. Uh, he also did a series of really innovative vampire hunting RPGs on the um, the Game Boy Advance, uh, Boktai. And Boktai. those games actually had a solar sensor built into the cartridge, and in order to power your solar weapons to fight vampires, you had to take the console outside. What? And charge up the game while playing it outdoors. Hold on, what system was this for again? Game Boy Advance. Oh, when you said take the console, I thought you meant like yeah. a con like a system, like yeah. a... a a TV based system. No, but Kojima made thinking, a game that made kids have to go outside. I'm sitting here thinking you had to like disconnect the Famicom, drag that shit out in the front porch, and leave it out where any idiot down the street could steal it. Well, apparently the solar thing operated uh, even if the cartridge wasn't plugged in, so you could still charge your save file by taking just the cartridge into the sun. That's okay. Cool. Yeah. As you notice, uh, a bit of rain hit his hair, and that hair started turning gray. Yeah, but it didn't look like water. What yeah. was... That is something that they talked about in a lot of the, the stuff leading up to the game. That's called Timefall. It's a form of rain that causes things to age rapidly. Oh, good! It's why everyone in this game is in, like, wetsuits and rain slickers and, uh, and everything. What's with the handprints? <laughs> That's... Yeah, those are the creatures. They are creatures. Yeah, they're called BTs or beached things. Beached things. Yeah. I just want to say you starting your answer with that nervous chuckle, because they're really cool, but they're super tense, and I really like them. Oh God! All right. Also, this isn't pre-rendered cutscene. Just so you know. This is this is like gameplay. This is in-engine graphics happening right now. Oh, nice. Yeah. <laughs> Like, all the smack that I, that I do talk about just about this game in general, I cannot for a second oh dear. fault the technical prowess of this game. This, that's normal, right? Yeah. These birds are being caught in the rain. They're trying to get away from it, but yeah. And then something's chasing him. Oh. <laughs> uh, is it going to just drop me into gameplay like mid-cutscene or something? Or? Uh, yeah, but you're also not going to be under any threat. Oh, that, that's not a threat? No, you're fine. That right there, that person? Yeah, no, she's fine too. Me getting knocked over in the, the, this, this is not a threat? No, you're good. With the, the time storm or whatever coming in? No, it's fine. And the thing you said was chasing me? Yeah. So I seem to be face down in time rain right now. Weirdly, the puddles don't hurt you. It's only the raindrops as they're falling. And for some reason, his face can be unprotected. I don't get it. Oh, boy. <coughs> no more Scooty Puff Jr. for you. And there's the language? Redis. Flippin' heck. Now, the objects of the game is to box? pick up boxes. I can't get the box. Okay. So, you want to... There, there's a difference between the, the... Yeah, if you have them in your hands, when you fall over, they don't take damage because you, you shield them with your body. If you have them on your backpack, they can get damaged, but you don't have to worry about dropping them. Oh, good. But hand carry things I can drop. Yeah, you just have to hold those buttons down to keep holding the item. Oh, so if I... So if I let go, I do indeed... <laughs> yep. Let go. Uh-huh. It's, it, okay. it's that Kojima right. level of detail thing. Also, press, uh, well, go ahead and press triangle to put it on your backpack. But I have a thing on my back. You, you'll keep piling them up. You're fine. I can keep piling them? Yeah. And there's another one back <sighs> okay. here. There's too, another one back here? I thought there was. But... There's another one back here? Because the only thing I remember is a spiky woman with an umbrella that I hit and I'm just apparently leaving. Tap R1 before you continue forward. Time rain and a thing chasing me. I'm tapping R1. Okay. Oh. Now, you see all the dots? The red X's are things you could slip on, potentially. So you want to be careful how you're walking oh, over red X's. Christ. Okay. That is a lot of shit to worry about. Yeah. It's not so bad here, but later in the game, like... It's, you'll, like, covered in X's? You, you'll have... Yeah, you'll find yourself slipping on stuff and, like, tapping the buttons to gain your balance. And the more your backpack is full, the less balance you have. Oh, damn it. <laughs> okay, so what if I just carry stuff with my hands? I mean, you can. Uh, it, it might impede your balance, but you're, you're not going to have to worry right now about damaging stuff, because... Right now, you're just in kind of the getting used to things area. That is... You'll have to try really hard to kill yourself. 
Okay, so That's what? That's not a challenge. <laughs> Are you sure? Yeah. I took it as a challenge during Prey. Yeah, you certainly did. <laughs> Fucking jumping into the propellers on my first day of work. <sighs> Is it X or triangle to... Uh, triangle. ...to put stuff? Aha, okay. Yeah. And, and they just keep stacking up, so you end up getting like this. How do I up? Uh, you can't up there. You have to kind of go around <sighs> the mountain. The uh, This way? You can go that way. The one that looks like path. Deathfall? Yeah, there's a path to the right there. Yeah. Oh, It took barely. me like 20 minutes to find that. I kept going back the other way, trying to find a path up the mountain to go higher, because I'm a doofus. Oh, crap. Oh, oh crap. Press oh, crap. L2 and R2 to regain your balance when you're tripping like that. Oh, my God. So, do I have to hold it or mash it? Uh, I think you just hold it and you start gaining stability, but I freak out and start mashing. Let, let me try. Let me, let me, I'm going to try to intentionally slip so I know what I'm, whether I need to hold it or press it. So can I, I don't think I can up against this, because I'm just pushing. Oh, I have to... Yeah, you can't really climb yet. Seriously? Oh, oh, press X rapidly to climb. I have to press it rapidly. I'm jumping. Oh, well, I think that those areas are covered with X's, which is probably why you couldn't climb it. Okay, so it won't even let me attempt yeah. it. I know, I'm imagining the rain it has something to do with it. Because I, I hit the little oh. tappy R button yeah. to, like, scan it, and I did see a whole bunch of, uh... I did see a whole bunch of X's, so I thought, oh, okay, this must be a good place to test out yeah. the, the grip slippy whatever. But I guess it won't even let me. All right. I would be too worried about, like, condensation and it dripping on. Yeah. But weirdly, that one gray spot seems to have vanished, so maybe he's okay. Maybe it, maybe it's temporary effects if yeah, it's just it dropped. Does, okay, that was going to be my next question, because I thought maybe just from that angle I couldn't see the yeah. the time rain, or the, the effects of the time rain, excuse me. Oh, dear. Brian. Okay, question. Yeah. Now that they've brought an animal into play. Am I going to have to worry about, like, food and water stuff? Do I have to hunt or anything? I know the game has a dedicated urination function, so I don't know. Are you kidding me with this? I haven't engaged with it yet. But... So, oh, yeah, you might not want to... Why is there... That... Oh, that one spot is yeah. extra wrinkly. <laughs> yeah, that's maybe not a good idea to... I know that's actor Norman Reedus, but it also looks like the kid that played... Um... Brian, can I stop for a sec? My controller's rumbling a lot when he dropped to one knee. Oh, yeah. And he's also starting What's... to get goosebumps. Also, goosebumps. What's... That's cool. What's <laughs> happening right uh, now? A BT is about to show up. Don't worry, you don't have to fight it. It's more just to kind of show what they do when they get close. And it's showing that he kind of has a sixth sense with them. So all this happens during a... Oh, sh Oh, it's right fucking there. Yeah. Also, the... The way the liquid fills the handprint, and then, like, the tips of the fingers kind of scrape a little bit of the sand away as it walks away. That's really freaking cool! <laughs> Should I be worried right now? No. You're, you're fine. Nothing can hurt you here. Are you sure? A hand just yeah. grabbed me, Brian. And it's the woman I seem to have hit about a couple minutes ago. Yeah, she's fine. Well, obviously! <laughs> I like that her outfit gets goosebumps, too. Like, her outfit gets all spiky like that. <laughs> they can walk on ceilings. Mm-hmm. <sighs> okay. They come from the world beyond, or as Kojima called it during production, Hades. Please don't take that. I need those. <laughs> those handprints are really freaking cool. Well, I'm glad you're enjoying this. It's like, we wasted all of our graphics on the handprints. We can't afford to actually render enemies. Make them invisible. Genius! Man, the deer ran. So, yeah. Should I run? No, you're fine. This is just kind of showing, like, the different things you do to avoid them. Like, they're covering their mouths to avoid breathing completely so they can't detect them. Because I feel like... I should definitely be concerned right now. Yeah. Another side effect of sensing them is uh, the characters start crying. Crying? Yeah. Just their eyes start pouring tears uncontrollably. I really feel like I should... You're okay. Definitely worry. Yeah, I've seen this scene a couple of times now, and this is a really cool showcase of what, you know, Kojima can do. Of what wants to kill me? Yeah. Because as someone who doesn't often put that much stake in graphics... Yeah. The the cool handprints are not my number one concern right now. 
<laughs> my number one concern is, is this thing that I cannot see about to fuck me up? I don't know yet. I've never actually encountered one in gameplay yet. It's all been cutscenes <sighs> for those things so far. Great. Because, like, I don't have a good experience with invisible enemies. Yeah. Like, you played Mega Man Legends, right? Uh-huh. <laughs> And the fact that you're uh, laughing is all al- you already know what I'm talking oh about. Oh yeah, as much as so, I love those games. Oh, check it out. What am I checking it's out? It's the the things. People? They're just kind of floating in the air, and due to the rain, like hitting them, you can kind of see them a little bit. But yeah, that those Ugh. were some of the things that were there. Okay. Fantastic. But for those who don't know, Mega Man Legends had a dungeon that was essentially that game's water temple. Because it was very much full of water. And there were invisible predator-like enemies. Because they would be invisible, but sometimes you could see them. But it was a different distortion, not the um, the not the usual predator-like distortion where it's, you know, the air kind of twists around them. But it was more like they would be fully invisible and then they would sometimes blink into existence, but they could very much attack you 100% of the time. So, before, Dooms, that they're talking yeah, about Dooms, it's yeah, yeah. kind of like the superpower sixth sense when it comes to the the, the beached things. I, I don't know fully how it works yet, but apparently there are multiple levels of it, and okay. they each kind of have it, and like the, the crying is because they can sense them, like the tears. And the people who don't have dooms use other ways to sense them. These weird babies that they plug into themselves in yellow jars. Babies. Yeah, Norman Fetus. Plug. <laughs> plug in. Yeah. Norman Fetus. Yeah. Also, why does he have a bunch of handprints? I think he's been attacked like... by them before. I think that's marks left by the things, but I don't 100% know. Because when he took the, the shirt jumpsuit thing off at first... I know... I'm sorry? Tardigrades. What? Uh, those look like tardigrades. They are some kind of uh, nutrients that help them fight off the side effect of the dooms. Is that a snack? Yes. You're about to, aren't you? Oh, she's about to. Oh, dear. Yikes. Okay. Th- those facial animations are impressive, but God, that's creepy. It she is, looks like yeah. she's really into eating that worm. You know what's funny? Being a fan of Internet Historian, <laughs> I can't look at that scene without thinking of the part where, like, they replace it with a chicken nugget, but he <laughs> but he adds in, like, cr- loud crunching sound effects. <laughs> so, like, between the facial animation that's just shy of Uncanny Valley and a chicken nugget that's very clearly real, and then the crunching from a chicken nugget that's not supposed to crunch, it's like, none of that makes... A lot of it is kind of... What are you oofing? She apparently... I didn't catch it before. She apparently got soaked in time fall from the neck down. Oh. Yeah. Because I, I glanced and I saw her hand, but I didn't pay attention to the dialogue, though. So apparently it can be cured, but not extensively Fully cured. Fully cured. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, that's her umbrella. Yeah. Jesus, I thought the geometry just broke for a second. No, nope. that's her weird <laughs> umbrella. Also, her name is Fragile, so her company, yeah. her individual company is Fragile Express. <laughs> yeah, she said that, but I just, thought, I just thought I was looking at a horrible glitch in the first 15 minutes of the game. No. Nah. I, was... I have yet to see this game glitch, actually. that's It's, it's a okay. beautifully stable game. Okay. Ooh, that umbrella. <laughs> God. Oh, man. So is this family, or...? I don't know. Oh, what she's saying. Did they get caught in time fall or something? Uh, I know the photo, part of the photo did. It's why one of the faces was exposed. I mean the yeah. people. But I, I don't they? know. It looked like one of them was actress Lindsay Wagner, so I don't 100% know. Because okay. I know Lindsay Wagner's uh, in this game. Where'd she go? Did she do the pre-hit with bite disappearing act? Yeah, I think so. All right. Also, I just want to, I want to bring up. Yeah. We're getting about the point to where we would end an episode. Yeah. And we have walked about 10 meters. Picked up two boxes and got a cutscene. Yeah. Yeah. Can we expect that from more of the game? Uh, You're going to get a lot more play before the next big cutscene, but the next big cutscene is a a doozy. Is it? Yeah. 
but it's actually even more important for what's going on than the last one. And it's broken in half by some gameplay. Okay. Alright, so next time then? Next time. <laughs>